October is National Bullying Prevention Month. And literally the whole country is trying to raise awareness. That's why we're here today with Asia Mayrock. She's the author of The Survival Guide to Bullying. So we'd love to know your advice for kids out there who are being bullied. For the eight years that I was bullied, I never told anyone because I was so afraid of being judged or people telling me that it was my fault that I was bullied. You don't need to go through bullying alone. You don't need to suffer in silence. So make sure that you find someone in your life that you trust and you ask them for help and tell them what's going on. I, I was having a really hard time figuring out how to kind of get out of that funk of feeling so down on myself and being bullied. And that's when I began writing Roams. And what I mean by Rome is kind of like a rap poem. And they were about my experiences and overcoming all the struggles of being bullied and getting to a place where I finally felt good about myself. So I don't know, if you guys want to hear one, I'd love to share one with you. Yeah, I've never heard one. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm going to tell you a story about the power of words, about your own voice and being heard, the power to heal, the power to hurt. On Halloween of my freshman year, a girl I had never met who attended my old school dressed up as me as her costume. And suddenly it was like someone pressed resume. I was all consumed by cyberbullying, harassment, and my past. You see, I'd spent eight years being bullied. Crowds would amass to telecast hate, trying to obliterate their very own class of mate. And so when this happened, I sunk into my chair, defeated with this blank stare in my eye, thinking, this is it. I don't know how to keep trying to get by. I know what it's like to lose your fight, and I know what it's like to take back your life, but how could I let kids struggle every day without showing them that it's gonna be okay? And then my mom said to me, Asia, you gotta be brave. Tell your story. If not you, who will tell the story of the 13 million American kids bullied every single year? And suddenly it all became clear, and she said to me, who do you wanna be? What do you want to achieve? What do you believe? And so I put pen to paper, rearranged the thoughts that poured from my brain, and created a book that goes by the name The Survival Guide to Bullying. We are all different, unfinished, sufficient. We all fight our own battles each day. We all must be accepting of our wounds that don't always fade away. So I'll leave you with this and say, I promised myself that I would take a stand, try to save others by holding out my hand, but I cannot fix this problem on my own. I need people like you to get up, hold your head high, raise your hand and say, I will not let another kid feel like someone else's prey. Whether you are the bully, the bullied or the bystander, today is a new day. Stand up, don't back down and be brave. I'm speechless. That was so inspirational. <laughs> Thank so you. inspirational. I actually have an activity for you guys if you want. Ooh, Ooh, yes. yes. So step one, get a small canvas or a dry erase board and some fun markers or crayons, whatever you want. Step two would be to write out some inspirational words or phrases, things that make you feel empowered and strong. During the time I was bullied, I would write about things that I really loved about myself because so often I was bullied for the things that made me feel self-conscious. So I wanted to feel really good about who I was when I wrote these pieces. So let's write down some inspirational okay. words or phrases. So Asia, how did you personally experience and overcome bullying? Writing for me was something that saved me from all of this struggle because in those moments where I just got to like literally sit with my notebook and write and create, I felt like I had a purpose. So how is it to have your very own book? How did it get started and what can people learn from it? It's such a dream come true. I wrote my book when I was 16 and I was in high school and I just wanted to find a way to show kids around the world that they weren't alone. You know, we need those voices, those people to stand up and, and say that this is not cool, this is not okay. I actually like that word, voice. Yeah, voice, I think that's a good one too. So what are some of the words that you have so far? Um, kind, beautiful, confident, oh, strong, happy, unique, voice, positive vibes only, yes. and <laughs> self-love. I have confident, stand up, strong, beautiful, and then I have a phrase, don't be afraid to be yourself, love and that. then I have love yourself. These are so great. Okay, so what's your advice for someone who's being bullied right now? If someone's being bullied right now, I would say the most important thing is that you find a top five people in your life that you love and trust, whether it is your parent or you know a guidance counselor or someone in your life that you really feel like you can go to and talk to about what's going on. The third step would be to put it all together. Create something that makes you feel alive and empowered and just get it all down on that paper. And since we're in the no bully zone, why don't we just put no bully zone in the piece? Good idea. Yeah, yeah let's good. go for it. No bully zone. 
Okay, I'm thinking something like, got a lot on my mind as of lately. I spot the bullies in the hall trying to break me. Ooh, that's that good. That sounds really I like good. That. Yeah. Have you ever made one of your roams into a song? No, but I've always wanted to. I've always done it without mm -hmm. music, but I think it would be really cool with music. Yeah. And then the fourth step would be to go out there and practice it. Just say it out loud, see what happens, play with it, and go for it. You know, the way this sounds, I think we should totally make this into a song. It would sound yeah, good. We should. I yeah. Think it, yeah, I think mm -hmm. it would sound great with music. Mm -hmm. I'd listen to that song. Me too. Same. <laughs> Trying to break me, but I stay focused and they know it. I can do it, pull through it. Nah, I won't let it take me. They got a few problems of their own. Something going wrong at home, but I don't know. Either way, I'll shine all day, all day, all day. Tell a teacher or a friend. We can't make it on our own. Now everybody come through to the world. We learned so much today. Yeah, thanks for everything. Oh, no problem. Let's keep the positivity going. Comment below a positive message. Yeah, anything. A sweet story about a friend or a message to us. Hashtag no bully zone. And as girls, let's lift each other up. I love that. Me too. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.